hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i am coming back i don't even know if it's a reaction video i don't even know honestly what to call it but i'm responding to liv's life and her pregnancy and it's crazy because i don't like i told you guys i'm not about drama or anything like that but it's like these YouTubers that we watch, not all of them, but some of them, are getting more and more ridiculous for views. Like, Liv's life, she's pregnant now. Like, you know what happens when you have unprotected sex. And it's crazy because I loved her. Like, but I just, honestly, I don't know. More and more, I feel like what I'm reading about and what I'm uh researching about i watch a lot of youtube people don't even understand i watch about mm, not as much as i used to but i watch a lot of youtube so i'm watching these influencers or whatever they're supposed to be called and um, I'm not going to insert any clips, but I just wanted to kind of talk about it. It's like with her, um, her content and everything like that, I feel like lately it has been about drama. She has basically had a storyline because she keeps talking about Gerard. That's her baby daddy. But he came down here. Well, you got they moved to Florida he came down there and basically he came down there for a booty call and she knew what it was and he knew what it was and it was like i don't even think it's been a month i don't know how long it's been but she took a pregnancy test a couple days ago and she disabled the comments on her video and everything like that she's crying she's sad then the next day she uploaded a video and she's laughing and she's giggling like what is it it's like we know who the father is or l let me say we hope we know who the father is um but it's like how messy can you be and you talk about his sister um getting clout off your name and everything like that it's like i love you guys your family your babies um, I watch you guys every day, but it's like, what the hell is going on? Like, what are you doing? Like, what are, are you like spiraling out of control, honestly? And it's like, you haven't posted on the pregnancy, even though you don't have to, that's not, that's not something you have to do, but you did, you know, put it to your viewers your subscribers like oh i'm pregnant and i'm alone yeah you're pregnant and you're alone because you choose to be and it's like i don't know if i've seen that she says she hasn't told the father but i'm pretty sure he's gonna see it on the video he he watches your channel or somebody he knows watches your channel uh -huh. All the messiness that is behind this man's name. Um, it's like, I watched you guys when you guys were the web game and everything. So I watched your family basically evolve from when you weren't making any money to now that you're making money, you didn't move out to Florida and everything like that. I just feel like us as women us as influencers we have to do better and i understand you're grown i understand everybody makes mistakes but at the same time is that really a mistake or was that more content for your channel like what is it i seen the video and you had to take three pregnancy tests to figure out you're pregnant no you got three kids so you know you're pregnant and it's like, I don't know. It's like 
certain stuff i don't want youtubers that i like or that i watch to be involved in drama like their channel revolves around drama and it's like she's been on an emotional roller coaster since she got to florida it's like why move all the way to florida if you still have a connection with this man regardless of if you have three kids by this man or anything why move to florida if he was going to be coming down here and you guys were going to still be sleeping together you moved remember that's what you keep reiterating you left but did you really leave it's like no you didn't really leave because he still comes down here he can still screw you whenever you want or whenever he wants and it's like you'll you'll never get closure from that you'll never move on from that because you keep allowing him to do what you wanted to get away from you keep giving his family a reason to talk so i'm i'm pro women i support women i support our choices because it's like <clears throat> we already have it so hard we're we're mothers 24 7 most of us um but at the same time it's like why put your children through that we can prevent everything that happens to our us pregnancies everything even though i'm not for an abortion or anything like that we can prevent all of that stuff you sleeping with a guy randomly you didn't been with this guy you got three kids by this man so you know oh he produces babies but at the same time i thought he had a vasectomy or was i the only one that seen that video or what even though i know no form of birth control it's foolproof but did he really have a vasectomy like come on lives life i man i've watched your channel i've watched you grow and it's like now i feel like i'm being taken advantage of or any viewer that believed you before is being taken advantage of and it's like are you creating drama because you want us to watch your channel? If I mean, before you didn't have any drama. It's like you guys broke up, you guys got back together, whatever. It's the typical normal relationship. But you didn't have any drama. So we still watched your channel. I still supported your channel. But it's like, I feel like I'm being lied to constantly. And it's, I understand you going through a lot. I understand that. But at the same time, you put yourself through the choice of moving. So you have emotions of moving and leaving him. But at the same time, if it was like an abusive relationship, why? Why? After you had your baby, your last baby girl, why would you put yourself back into a situation to where you could possibly go through some more verbal abuse or more physical abuse. I don't remember if I've seen physical abuse in the situation, but why put yourself back into that? It's like, <clears throat> come on, women. Let's do better. Let's protect ourselves, especially if we have girls. I only have a son, so it's like I try to protect him so that he doesn't have to see anything that is negative that doesn't come from his mother directly but at the same time i'm not gonna make a damn fool of myself and put it on the internet and then have people talking about me to where he can go back and watch the video later your daughter is smart your oldest daughter is smart she can go back and look that's why they ask questions so it's like you put yourself through the situation now you have to deal with oh i'm pregnant by him he's he's supposedly cheated and he has another girl pregnant or his side chick is pregnant but she can't really be a side chick if you guys are not together right anyways i do still love you lives life i do still support you but it's like you have to come over that drama hump you got to get over it you talking about his sister you talking about all them people who are putting out negative videos towards you and it's because you give people a reason to be negative towards you like 
I understand you're grown. You can do whatever you want. But when you have a platform like this to where you give people open judgment, then that becomes the problem, right? Anyways, thank you guys again for watching. I love you guys all. Comment, subscribe, like, share. And I will be back with you guys again soon. Bye-bye.